let's talk right brain thinkers. Or I hope my right brain thinkers haven't fallen asleep. Uh, so right brain thinking, again, we surveyed in another scenario, a, a different set of hundreds of senior living marketing executives, about, about 200, to uncover why storytelling makes such a difference in marketing. And you'll see where this is where like, I'm really passionate because I'm, I'm in the right brain thinker. All right, so check this out. Look at the difference between these two. Like you can almost see and taste the second one, right? And so often in senior living, because we are, your teams are so um, under pressure to you know work on deadline and, and get projects, excuse me, out quickly. So often it can be easy to get into rote marketing speak. Our dining options are second to none. The fact of the matter is that doesn't actually show anything to your target market. Doesn't actually differentiate you in any way. So just by virtue of showing, here's another example. When I was uh, in undergrad uh, working on my English degree in, in um, my writing classes, the, the rule was just always show, don't tell, show, don't tell, show, don't tell. So it's like whatever your right brain thinker can see in her or his mind, she or he can make come to life with words, with, with pictures. Um, and I'll show you some examples of these in, in Finnish marketing um, efforts. So why, first, why is storytelling in senior living marketing so important? In our research of the 200 uh, participants, your peers, uh, three trends emerged. First was feeling. People define storytelling as a means to evoke a feeling or elicit an emotional response. We all know that this is a very emotional uh, decision that, that families and residents are making. And it starts long before they make the decision. It starts long before they even make the decision to pick up the phone and call you. It starts even long before they make the decision to start checking out your website. But boy, the minute they start checking out your website or receiving your marketing materials, you really want your right brain thinkers to have engaged in the purpose of this is to evoke a feeling or elicit an emotional response. The second trend was connectedness. Overwhelmingly, the data showed feelings are tied directly to a sense of connectedness. And then guidance on the journey. The whole point of storytelling, of storytelling marketing in senior living is to take the reader from where they are to someplace new. Too often, we make it the point that, the, that all marketing should take the reader from being comfortable in their home to taking a tour with us. And there's so, there's so many other almost mystical things that happen between those two events that it's the job of the right brain thinkers and the storytelling marketing to take the reader from where they are to that someplace new. Another way of thinking of this, these three trends is the reader, the consumer of your marketing thinks, this makes me feel good. I belong here and I will let you show me a new way. Even if that means I'm not gonna take a tour or move it, I will still let you show me a new way. Again, um, referencing your handout, your digital handout, there is a um, little bit deeper dive on this data in there. Um, and it is on page 13. So again, I won't spend too much time here, but uh, it's in your handout, so reference that. Um, our survey did indicate uh, that 78% of your peers frequently use storytelling in marketing, and here are a few considerations when doing so. So break down your conversion process. You have folks who are just becoming aware of your organization. You have people who are considering your organization. You have people who are ready to decide to take a tour with you. And then there are those residents who have already moved in and family members who are already engaged uh, who you want to monitor, right? Um, so there's a business objective for every single one of those areas of the uh, marketing funnel. And then specific types of content and media to those business objectives. This is a great place where your left brain and right brain thinkers can um, 
can converge and can really align, right? Because your left brain thinkers will be able to map all of this out. And then your right brain thinkers will be able to produce all of this work. Um, in developing storytelling, be sure to honor various learning styles. So visual learners, auditory learners, reading, writing learners, kinesthetic learners, multimodality. And in any story, this is one of the, uh, the best things I thought about this particular research study that we did. We found, we know that there is an arc from the beginning of a story to the climax of the story to a resolution, whether it's in a movie, in a book, right? It's always that same trajectory. Here is an illustration of that arc, the, the arc of a story, as it applies to the full experience of the resident and family journey, as we saw it from the data that we, that we collected. So your peer showed us that the story really begins with social media and content marketing. Like I said, this is the conversation before the conversation happens. So you're already engaging them in thought leadership that they're consuming before they ever speak to anyone with your organization. That's the job of content marketing and social media marketing. Then you could begin to address specific prospect challenges when this is where the prospect gravitates towards a particular content marketing subject to solve, to hope to solve aging challenges on their own. And a really good email automation system can show you what they're gravitating towards and set your sales team up for great, great success in reaching out to folks who are gravitating towards content marketing that really indicates they probably are ready for more support. At that point, you can address rising prospect challenges. The prospect is ready to talk to you. Again, I'm just going to move you down here so I can read. Then at the climax, this is where the flip happens. It's the moment that the prospect decides, decides that you are the expert, that your um, caregivers are the experts and are, are really the prize. Um, and they decide, then they decide to resolve their challenges with you and your community. Then there's addressing of falling prospect challenges. The prospect has more specific challenges that you can help resolve. You know, how do I uh, downsize? Who's going to help me move? You know, my out of town son can't be here. Those sorts of challenges. Then there's resolution and agreement. So all of the rising and falling challenges are resolved and the prospect is ready to move in. And finally, there's moving in and tying up loose ends. The story of move-in day is the one of the best, again, marketing gold, captured and celebrated in such a way that draws the family together, the resident into the fold of the community, and that can be used for really great social media and content marketing marketing, for, you know, back to the start of the story. So this is just a really cool map that we saw in the data of how storytelling can be used um, ex in external marketing throughout every single one of these uh, milestones. And here's what it looks like when it's finished. So in a perfect world, your right brain thinkers, your um, integrators are working off brand standards. They are um, using a um, consistent message and a consistent look and feel across all marketing materials. And they are also given then creative freedom to bring that story to life. Here's one example of uh, Sinceri Senior Living. Another example, this was Krista, the uh, example of the marketing plan that we looked at before. It goes from marketing plan and sort of all these logistics to you know, real people, real feelings, real, um, real challenges being addressed, right? And that's, that's that handoff from left brain thinker to right brain thinker. And a final example, Cedar sinai Park. Again, really strong brand standards um, that your right brain thinkers, if you don't, if your left brain thinkers don't anchor your right brain thinkers in great brand standards, then you're going to get um, what was mentioned earlier of all that outlandish, you know, ideas and, and you can't afford to have that. So brand consistency QA is where the uh, left brain thinkers come in and then the right brain thinkers can have creative freedom from there. This is one of my favorite brands to work on with our creative director. All right, um, so again, I'm gonna give you just a moment here. We have about 10 minutes left together to do our third module. Um, do write down one to three actions that your team can take to increase storytelling, to increase storytelling marketing in your marketing efforts. And then <clears throat> for more detail, if you wanna share with your right brain thinkers more detail on storytelling, again, 
go to this link and then the um, particular ebook that you want is the uh, one right next to the light bulb one that says the complete data-driven ebook to storytelling marketing. So if you go to that link, then they're all there. And I encourage you to take a photo of this slide if you want to refer back to it.